Ah, yes, greetings to you. Hopefully you're doing very well. We want to wish you the very best of this festive season. We all know 2022 has been a year of challenges here and there. Right from 2020, challenges have been coming in here and there. But as long as we are still alive, we thank the Almighty God for that. I welcome you to HBMS TV Talking Road, a channel that was purposely started with the aim of promoting good health. Yes, we have different avenues, entertainment, medical news, sensitization, very many things that we do at HBMS TV to make sure that you can live a healthier life. We look at food security, we look at environmental conservation, but I bring you greetings from the crew of HBMS TV Talking Health. They wish you the best of this festive season and a prosperous 2023. We wish you the best. As we deliver this message to you, I felt it important to echo out a few points that I noted from the President's address to the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. He gave a very nice speech that is in line with what our channel does and I'll be echoing out a few things here and there so that you who is following us at HBMS TV you can have it alongside with you as you end the year but also take it up for the new year and as life goes by. Actually the president talked about our healthcare strategy in Uganda where they tend to have all African countries adopting it and uh, when you talked about our healthcare strategies the president said we have two main healthcare strategies the first one being preventive healthcare strategy which accounts for over 75 percent in the healthcare then the other one is curative which only accounts for only 25 percent in the healthcare services and uh, when you talked about uh, the preventive health care strategy he emphasized a few points that i'll be occurring out but what gave me joy as the director of HBMS TV Talking Health was point number one among the things that are included in the preventive health care strategy. Number one was nutrition. He said this is promoted through sensitization and education. However, with concern, he noted that very many people in Uganda some of them overeat. I remember that very well. He even opened his eyes widely when he talked about it, overeating. Then he also noted that he is undereating. And he also noted missed eating. Overeating, you eat a lot that you do not need. Undereating, you eat less than what is required by your body. And then, missed eating is not knowing, not having the knowledge what to eat and for what reason. So Uganda has to put a focus on that. That is why we need to promote channels like HBMS TV to make sure that we can sensitize people on how they are supposed to eat. He even noted that, uh, I'm echoing out from his speech to his fellow African leaders, he noted that uh, in Uganda, especially in the town settings, that is where malnutrition is, simply because people don't have land to have their own food. 
he even said that uh, different from other countries or other parts of the world, in Uganda, families have land and they get an extra mile to own land and then go ahead to farm their own food. So the only challenge is people don't know what to eat and for what reason. But uh, in, in uh, the urban setting or town setting, where people do not have land, that is where mal malnutrition is noticed so, so much. So people need to know about that. And uh, as we approach the new year, we also need to be in position to look out for what to eat and for what reason and in which combination. And HBMS TV is here for you. The other point that he talked about was the hygiene. He talked about hand washing. When Corona came in, we adopted this, but it should be part of us forever. Hand washing. Then the other one is proper waste disposal and water sewerage cooperation, which is very nice and it prevents very many conditions, including cholera, including other conditions, waterborne diseases. It is very, very vital. Then he also talked about uh, safe water. He talked about the boreholes, pipe to tap water, the gravity water schemes, the wells. Not forgetting the rains, God has been so good to us that we still have rains. All that is all about having, water, uh, having safe water for drinking and usage. Then he also noted about uh, vaccination. Vaccination can help prevent very many diseases. You need to know that very, very well. Vaccination. You can talk about the measles, polio, HPV, cancer of the cervix, all these things we've been in position to know and he talked about them. Deep failure, all these diseases can be prevented in one or the other. So prevention is very important. And uh, he also talked about um, all about, I'm talking about the preventive health care strategy. He talked about malaria prevention, sleeping under mosquito nets, draining water. You all know Ugandans have a lot of water. Almost a bigger percentage is covered with water. So if you do not drain it, then there is a problem. Then talk about pesticides killing the love of the mosquito. Very many things that we can do clearing bushes to make sure that uh, we can prevent malaria. Malaria is a killer disease. Then he also talked about uh, behavior changes. When you talk about behavior changes, you emphasize the point of HIV. When you look at HIV, it's all about your behavior. People go and look for it. He said it clearly. So with changes, you can do it with it. Then recently, you talked about the Ebola. When you look at uh, Ebola, it's a condition that has been kept here in Uganda. But it also goes with your behavior changes. If you avoid direct contact with someone who has had it, then you're on point. HBMS TV is here to help educate you. We even have an artist that is Frank Gomez. You can go to YouTube and search for Ebola Tumuruani. It's an audio in form of music that is going to help educate you on how you can fight it. If we fought it this time around, it does not mean that we've ended it. It is still on. It can come some other time. So you need to keep in check. And uh, the other point he noted in the preventive healthcare strategy is the lifestyle modification. Very many diseases have come up simply because of the lifestyle, the way we lead our lives. Things like diabetes, things like hypertension, including cancers, different, different things are a result. So among the things that you need to look at 
is your lifestyle if you want to live a healthier life. So he concluded by saying that uh, if we can consider the preventive health care strategy, 75% of the conditions will be prevented and we can live a healthier life. So you is out there and you feel you need to live a healthier life, you need to live with your family in harmony, make sure you take these points that were given by the President Sirius and also be part of HBMS TV to make sure that we can always help educate you on how you can live a healthier life. HBMS TV, Talking Health. Happy New Year and may you enjoy the rest of your life. Thank you.